Okay, so we set up our problem like this. Going back to elementary school with the, I used to call it the doghouse. I don't know why it made me think of a doghouse. Um, so this is the divisor, what you are dividing by. This is the dividend, what is being divided. Your answer is called the quotient. It's going to go up here on the top. And then if we have a remainder, it goes out to the side over here. Okay. <clears throat> so that's just some terminology that we need to be aware of. Okay, so step one is that we divide the first term of the dividend. So in this case, we divide 10m cubed by the first term of the divisor. You may want to do this like off to the side from the problem. Okay, so we get 10m squared is the result there. Okay, that's just using properties of exponents. So I've got to rewrite my problem here so that I can show my work. Now, some of you do not like to be careful and organized and neat with things, but let me go ahead and tell you, the more organized and neat you are with these, the easier it's going to be, okay? So the result was 10m squared. I'm going to put that, I'm going to line it up with the m squared term in the dividend, okay? So step two is to multiply that number, 10m squared, by the entire divisor, and then we're going to subtract. So 10m squared times m is 10m cubed. 10m squared times 1 is 10m squared. And we're going to subtract. Now, this is where you have a little bit of a choice. Some people like to look at it as subtraction. Some people like to change all the signs and add. That's where whatever makes more sense to you I don't care just so you do it correctly. So 10 minus 10 is 0. That should always go away. 4 minus 10 is negative 6. Or if you change the signs and add, then it's 4 plus negative 10. Either way, you get negative 6m squared. Okay? So then, just like with regular division, you're going to bring down the remaining terms of the dividend. So the 2m and the plus 8, they need to come down to join the, six, the negative 6m squared. All right. Then we're going to start repeating the process. But what we're going to do is this time we're going to divide the first term of the remaining polynomial. This is the remaining polynomial right here. This is what I'm talking about. The negative 6m squared plus 2m plus 8, that's the remaining polynomial polynomial. So we're going to divide the negative 6m squared by m. That gives us negative 6m. So that's going to go back. It's going to go beside the, two, uh, the 10m squared. Excuse me, I'm getting tongue-tied. Okay. So that minus 6m is going to go right there. And we're going to keep repeating our steps. So we're going to multiply negative 6m by m plus 1. Uh, what do we get if I didn't bring down my other terms here? Okay, so when we multiply, that's going to give us negative 6m squared. Negative 6m times 1 is negative 6m. Subtract or change your signs and add. However you want to look at it, negative 6 minus a negative 6 is 0. 2 minus a negative 6m is 8m plus 8. Then we're going to divide 8m by m. That gives us 8, so we get plus 8 on the end. That tells us when we get to the end of that line, we don't have any more dividing to do. Now, we're not finished. We still need to finish out the process. We need to multiply 8m, or excuse me, 8 times m plus 1 to get 8m plus 8 and subtract to see if we have a remainder. In this case, we do not. So this is the answer. Okay, 10m squared minus 6m plus 8 is the answer. Now, <clears throat> here's the deal. If there's no remainder, that means that m plus 1 is a factor of this expression. So what I mean by that is 10m cubed 
plus 4m squared plus 2m plus 8 factors like this. m plus 1 times 10m squared minus 6m plus 8. Now we haven't talked about a technique for figuring that out. Okay, our only option right now would be GCF just for kicks let's look at that if we plug out it plug out pull out a 2 uh, is this factorable 5 and 1 I don't think it is I don't think we can factor that 2 and 2 is not going to work because that would give us nope okay nope it's not factorable beyond taking out that GCF. So anyways, um, that's kind of a side note there. All right, so let's look at another example. Okay, let's look at another example of doing this long division. 8m cubed minus 14m squared plus 1 divided by 4m plus 1. Now I have a note over there on the side, you don't necessarily need to write it down completely, um, but if you'll notice, the dividend here is missing the linear term. What do I mean by the linear term? The term that has just a plain m variable, okay? It doesn't have that. It has cubed, it has squared, and it has a constant, but it doesn't have just m to the first. Technically, it's not a big, huge deal if you don't recognize that, but things can get a little jumbled and you might get a little confused if you don't put a placeholder, a 0m, there in its place, okay? Um, your, your work will get kind of offline and you might get a little confused. So you really need to check and see, make sure your dividend has all the powers of the variable uh, and put a placeholder in there if it doesn't, okay? So, over here to the side, I'm going to do my uh, dividing stuff. 8m cubed divided by 4m, that gives me 2m squared. That goes on top. Line it up with the squared term. Multiply 2m, I'm sorry, huh? Where did I get the 2m squared? Okay, you divide the first term. All right, multiply 8m cubed plus 2m squared. We multiply it by the entire divisor, the 4m plus 1. Now, I like to look at it as just subtraction. If you would rather change the signs and add, that's fine with me, okay? Uh, so 8 minus 8, 0. Negative 14 minus 2 is negative 16m squared bring down the 0m and the plus 1. Yes? Uh-huh. I am multiplying 2m squared by 4m plus 1. So 2m squared times 4m is 8m cubed. 2m squared times 1 is 2m Step. 
we divide negative 16 m squared, the first term of the remaining polynomial, by the first term of the divisor, divided by 4 m. Negative 16 divided by negative 4, or excuse me, negative 16 divided by positive 4 is negative 4. m squared divided by m is m. So line that up with your m term. Multiply negative 4m by the divisor. So negative 4m times positive 4m is negative 16m squared. Negative 4m times 1 is negative 4m. Subtract negative 16 minus a negative 16 is 0. 0 minus a negative 4 is positive 4. Make sure you are careful with that. We got one more step to do. We need to divide 4m by 4m, which is 1. So we've got plus 1 here on the end. So multiply by 4m plus 1, that gives you 4m plus 1. And when you subtract, you get 0. So there's no remainder here. So that means that 8m cubed minus 14m squared plus 1 is equal to 4m plus 1 times 2m squared minus 4m plus 1. Okay, and again, that's kind of the side note right here, but I do want to point that out. When the remainder is 0, Let's look at one where things don't come out so evenly. Okay, let's look at x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x divided by negative 4x squared plus 16. Okay, you will, I'll go ahead and tell you, you will run into this with what we're doing later on today, so that's why I want to address this problem. Okay, we are missing terms in both the dividend and in the divisor. Notice the divisor is missing the linear term. It's missing the x. The dividend is only missing the constant on the end. Yes. No, you need to put it in standard form. You need to put it in standard form. Okay, so first term is, oh, I don't need to put that there. I'm going to run out of room. First term is x cubed of the dividend. First term of the divisor is negative 4x squared. Well, in all the other cases, we've gotten a nice pretty whole number. Well, that doesn't happen here. We've got 1 divided by negative 4. That's not nice and even and whole. So just leave it as the fraction. And x cubed over x squared is x. So negative 1 fourth x is going to go, you're going to line it up with the linear term, the 2x. And you're going to multiply. Negative 1 fourth times a negative 4 is a positive 1. x times x squared is x cubed. Negative 1 fourth times 0 is 0, and technically we wouldn't go past that point, but I'm going to put the x squared just for the sake of the argument. x times x is x squared. Negative 1 fourth times 16 is negative 4x. Where did I get what? 